the encode and decode rather than interpret if you go to the your shop floor or the design uh, uh, group or the team you will ask that what is the meaning of this uh, jdnt because they try to interpret it they are not encoding or decoding the codes what is encoding and decoding just uh, you will come to know but just uh, try to in, uh, use these terms encode and decode later on i'll come to the details so if you ask that what is this uh, c stand here uh, what is the 60 plus minus this what is the datum what is the n modifier so different people will interpret in different way so because of that i am using this interpret but a mathematic approach or you can say a typical way of expressing the drawing across your manufacturing inspection team and design team cannot be in a different way so the encode and decode just like a programming language comes into picture so i will explain you in brief what exactly i mean to say so the purpose of this webinar the web based orientation today is to demonstrate you all people who have attended here that what is gdnt exactly and the logic of gdnt and when you apply over your parts or assemblies what is the logic behind that then i'll not talk about the benefits of gdnt but the necessity of gdnt is my primary focus during today's webcast or webinar you can say and next we'll look at the gdnt encoding process how do you do the encoding so that no error you can expect with the mathematical precision you can guarantee not assurance or something you can guarantee the thing so i'll just explain you and demonstrate that how we can guarantee the encoding process and once you understand encode the process then you decode over your 3d models which you create inside different cad package and then you communicate to your manufacturing team then you communicate to your inspection team so that there is a sync synchronous communication between your all the three team across so the decoding is then important and there you can see a typical term datum reference that also i'll be discussing today and let us start with what is gd and t most of the people they define that in a different funny way so the gd and t as you can see just like our mother tongue there you have grammars there you have words there you have different meaning but universally if you see the synonyms and antonyms you have a one meaning so just like different symbols are arranged in a mathematical way so that they will bear a single meaning no two meaning so if you talk about the gdnt many people think gdnt is grim grim is basically very much serious topic and is depressing and troublesome but a fine way to waste a great deal of time many people also they think like that but other thing gdnt is the greatest design tool ever but of course the gdnt is geometric dimension and tolerance and you can say geometric dimensioning and tolerancing so in both way you can represent it but primarily the managing in perfect geometry in a perfect way so the purpose of cad also comes into picture when you use gdnt the without cad gdnt cannot be successful so to develop and communicate the complete part drawing which was in our concept from your r&d team and when that comes to your design team then we send that to our shop floor and then from that we'll go for the inspection and gauging and all different maybe a portable cmm you will be using or kind of a typical gauging uh, instruments which you use for testing that and saying that yeah our parts are for packed and we can move ahead so the cad and the integration of the gdnt and the primary purpose is to unambiguously communicate the manufacturing and inspection team from the design so how to do that but in fact the primary purpose of gdnt is basically whatever you are communicating is worth communicating but can we guarantee our function can we guarantee our assemblyability of the parts that means if you see the 
guarantee part most of the people they get you know scared that how can we guarantee it so in a mathematical way if 1 plus 1 equal to 2 just like that if the dimension across different parts and features feature is basically if you talk about a shaft and if you talk about a hole the hole is drilled over the material and that hole is a feature just like a shaft is also drilled out of a material so the features and the relations between them if that can be presented in a mathematical way you can guarantee the function because the primary motive of a automotive or aerospace or any domain is to function so whenever you know about the assemblability because different vendors manufacture different parts but as a OEM the company they do the GDNT stack up and GDNT complete decoding and encoding process where they can really forecast that our components are going to function our assembly is going to assemble properly no rejections at all so or in a greater detail you can say which I just briefed that researching refining and encoding the function of each feature of a part if you talk about a gearbox if you talk about a steering if you talk about a wheel there are multiple assemble components are available so if you do the research and refine and really you can understand that for your function what all the different rooms or dimensional flexibility you need to have and you know starting from the tool room your tool starting from your environment everywhere you have the variation and how do you map all this variation and still you can guarantee the fitment and function so the primary part is the function if a part cannot function after assembling then your whole process is meaningless and also if you go through the decoding process then what I was just discussing is guaranteeing the assemblability and operability prior to the drawing release so if really you can simulate if really you can interpret that whatever you are going to do that is worth time spending and you can guarantee the assemblability and operability what is the benefit of that if really you can understand and then GDNT will be really fruitful and basically the precise manufacturing objective and reduced manufacturing cost is the top of the you know the objective inside the GDNT and but here you can see inside the second point because without operability and assemblability the reducing the cost is meaningless so we have kept this in the second point and finally the turn inspection into a truly scientific process if you go to the inspection I have gone across more than 500 industry and visited their inspection shop floor and hundreds of people they use hundreds of you know the different personal method to inspect a particular part they don't have a scientific proven process to do the inspection so can inspection be neglected because the design manufacturing and inspection these three team they need to know the GDNT but most of the people they have a misconception that GDNT is only for the design no not at all is equally 33.33 both for the design 33.33 for your manufacturing team and again 33.33 per inspection then when you assemble all this you will get the 100% so in fact without GDNT the reliable tolerance tech op analysis is impossible just please go through this so the tolerance tech op is the ultimate objective after applying the GDNT but without a GDNT tolerance tech op forget about this and with the Excel whatever the you know the manipulations and we're trying to achieve is just a waste of time and manufacturing is you know the particular tribal understanding the old you know the we guess that this is going to happen you gauge in this way we manufacture in that way so no trial and error manufacturing is a, a not at all a guessing business and a tribal understanding tribal understanding is basically raw understanding and you try to interpret GDNT most of the people they try to read books and try to interpret GDNT it's not like that GDNT is all about encoding and decoding and inspection is pure invention on the part of the inspector that means hundred of people they invent hundred of the different ways how to inspect your parts so that cannot be like that right so inspection is pure invention 
on the part of the inspector that means one uh, the inspecting uh, uh, person is inspecting for the flatness or maybe for a cylindricity maybe for the run out maybe for a circular run out in a one way and when you move to another shop they are using some different jugad or they are using some different method so that cannot be like that right so in fact without gdnt all these processes this three thing you can get that means manufacturing will be a tribal understanding that means different on case you gauge it you gauge it you try to you know uh, try to trial and error it and do it and tolerance stack up is not possible 